I may be too much of the world to handle, but the world isn't too much for me to conquer. talk to you when I get home. I'm on my way home. What's wrong? Nothing. I just got out of work. I was just calling to make sure if the meat was and unfrozen. It's very, very done. Okay, good. So it's I'll, good. All right, I was just calling. Oh, so he's coming down the hallway. All right, so I'll That's talk to you. All right, I'll talk to you when I get home. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, bye. I just got home from work and I'm eating some Chipotle for my dinner. And I look at my phone when I get this text and I'm floored. I'm shocked. Rick has come through again for me, always being there for me, putting me in everything he's doing. He wants me to be a part of a Reebok photo shoot, a national worldwide company. I am so humbled that he always thinks of me when he's doing things for himself as well. And it's something that's so humbling to me. So now I'm excited because I may right now, in my mind, be on a Reebok photo shoot. This is insane. So I'm really excited and I really want to tell somebody, but I don't want to tell anybody like in my friend group or anything like that because, you know, when you put things out in the universe, sometimes it just doesn't come true. I'm that kind of person that's very superstitious like that, but I need to tell somebody and I know somebody who wouldn't say anything is my grandmother. So I have to tell her. So happy this is official. <laughs> What? I don't know. Because I just got texted from Rick that they want to do the shoot on on Tuesday the 14th. Which makes it even better because I'm off on Tuesday so I don't have to call out of work. Mm -hmm. You don't seem excited. I'm just skeptical. Of? I don't know that. I feel mm -hmm. like everyone in this family is just like so... They're, they're not happy for anyone in whatever they're doing. I'm so excited to tell someone this news, big news, and I'm expecting someone, especially someone so close to me, to be elated and so excited, and yet I met with just like, oh, okay. No, this is so big for me and my career and where I want to go in my life. Be excited, be happy, be supportive of me. So uh, everything anyone ever does in this family, for some reason, there's a judgment issue where someone thinks this should not be happening. Even if I was a big, gigantic wrestler making millions of dollars right now, and I came home for Christmas after traveling for 360 <laughs> days a year, it's so dramatic. So what would someone say? Oh, well, maybe you should have went to school. Instead of doing this, you should be doing this with your life. Instead of just sitting there and supporting the person for what they're doing and what they're making. Now I'm just thinking. 
I don't have support from these people, and that's why I'm bec becoming to just get so irritated and not want to be around them, because there's no support, there's no happiness, there's no, where you're doing this for yourself, good for you, let me support you and applaud you, there's none of that. When's the last time even any of anyone in my family has called me just to say how you're doing? I'll show you my phone log. Not a damn single call in the last year, two years. It, re it just annoys me. So, when I'm telling you, oh, look at this, this is so big, you should be happy for me because it's a photo shoot. And then if you're too happy, the person might be disappointed, you know, I'm not. But that that's on optimistic. me. If I'm too happy and I get disappointed, that's on me. Yeah, but I'd be disappointed. I, I wish you weren't trying something that you could get disappointed. But anything you did, you'd be disappointed. Anything you do in life, you, you can be disappointed in. Fail at. Exactly. So that's the truth. I just want someone to be my cheerleader. I want someone to be on my team. That is all I'm asking. And I understand that you don't want to be the person to add to the joy of the moment and then have it sucked out of you. But I am a grown adult. I'm not a child. I can deal with my own disappointments. I can deal with my own hardships. And I've done it for so many years and there's so many things that my family doesn't know that I've been through. That is very personal. And I just want support. I just want some damn support. Um, I just feel like people could be a little bit more supportive mm -hmm. instead of judgmental. That's all. Let it, let it start with you. Did you ever hear that? Let it begin. Let, mm, let, let it begin with you. That's a song. <laughs> something about being nice and but let it begin with you. This is Coco. I'm calling for Caroline. Yes, hi Coco. Um, I'm calling on behalf of Reebok. I work with Reebok and I'm working on a contract with regards to this upcoming uh, Matter of Pride campaign. Yes, yes, uh, Rick I, was telling I me about it. So now I'm excited because I may right now, in my mind, be on a Reebok photo shoot. This is insane. Um, I'm going to try to get this to you either today or tomorrow at the latest. And if you have any questions, I'll have all my contact. Oh, you have my contact information. Just give me a call if there's any questions that you have with it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you so much. No, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your day. You too. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Do I feel okay aligning myself with Rick Cataldo? Yeah. I mean, the allegations that were presented against him through the Twitter world and on, on a lot of news sites, they were proven to be false. Not only were they proven to be false, they were thrown out of a public court. So right now, it's just rumors throwing up against Rick Cataldo again. So I was told they were thrown out of court. So yes. I do feel okay with aligning myself with Rick Cataldo and a matter of pride. Full disclosure, this was actually thrown out of court in 2018. Honestly, yeah, I'm really nervous for the backlash for participating in an event with Rick Cataldo, but at the same time, I need to support someone who has been there for me and supported me. So I'm going to do this event for Rick Cataldo, and not only for Rick Cataldo, but for myself for a matter of pride, a place that we all love so much. Breaking news here in the Northeast. Right now, millions are bracing for the arrival of Hurricane Henri. Tonight, with millions in New York under a state of emergency, officials are calling for voluntary evacuations. If you have to move, if you have to stock up, if you have to get to higher ground, it has to be today, please. So I'm a little bit worried now because Hurricane Henry is supposed to be charging through Long Island and 
I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to leave my grandmother and my dog home alone during a hurricane. Well, the clouds are getting darker, thicker, and more ominous, and it's just starting to rain. We expect that to intensify. Rain and wind from Henri, greatest impacts obviously across eastern Long Island, more like four to eight inches closer to the center of the storm over eastern parts of Long Island. So I'm now contemplating, am I going to go to this Pat Patterson Classic? Because I just, I don't feel comfortable leaving them home, home alone with a hurricane on the loose. Oh my god, this rain is so bad. Oh, it's getting really bad. I'm gonna get stuck in this hurricane. I knew I shouldn't have gone.